Denise Journey. So in today's video, I am actually doing an intro to Flashback Friday. All of June, I'm going to be doing Flashback Fridays. And this week, you're going to get a bonus Throwback Thursday because I have so much footage from our Paris vlog, which is the vlog that I'm actually introducing. Um, I had to split it up into two, so how exciting. And I'm glad that I had enough footage to split it up into two because I have no footage from London. I mean, I have like four or five videos of the changing of the guards at Buckingham Palace, but unfortunately I have no other footage. And I'm not sure why I didn't vlog at all in London, but I have our entire Paris trip um, so my mom took me to Europe six years ago back in 2014 as a um, graduation gift from nursing school and as if you guys don't know which you probably do know by now I am a registered nurse and I'm in school to become a pediatric nurse practitioner right now and so once I graduated from nursing school the first time around my mom gifted me two weeks in Europe seven days in Paris seven days in London and the camera I had you guys the entire reason why I want to come in and do an intro is because the footage looks so bad. Vintage is the word that I've decided to use but it's really crappy. <laughs> and it's some parts that are really dark but like I wanted you guys to kind of hear the audio so I left it in there. So please do not drag me in the comments about this awful footage. I know it's awful. I'm telling you it's awful so you don't have to. So I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I um, am doing a new series this month. Last month was all nursing related videos. This month is all travel related videos with a few bonus videos here and there um, of course. And next month is going to be 10 year me Tuesdays. Yes, I've been filming hair tutorial videos even though I have my hair braided right now. I do have it braided, but I did pre-film lots of videos for you guys. So, I just wanted to introduce this um, month series, which is Flashback Friday, Travel With Me, um, Come Along. <laughs> Come Along on um, my first attempts at vlogging, which were 2014, 2016, and then I um, really picked up the camera um, again back last year when we did my cousin's bachelorette. So I just wanted you guys to see all those fun behind the scenes videos that I did record, and the footage has just been sitting here for years, and now I can finally share that with you guys. I have so much more I'm going to be sharing, so many surprises up ahead on Janine's journey. So make sure you stay tuned. And as always, give this video a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below. Make sure you share my channel with your family and friends. And make sure you and your family and friends subscribe so you too can be a part of Janine's journey. So let's get into this vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Well, we're getting ready to board our flight to Paris, Paris, France, and it is time for us to go. I'm excited and I can't wait to see what this adventure has to offer for me and my mom. Say bye! Bye! Bye, U.S. Hey, United States of America, and here we come, friends. So, say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> you so silly. <laughs> I know my hair looks a mess. Well, my scarf looks a mess, but we're here in Philadelphia getting ready to go through security to head to France. You're excited? <laughs> She's been way too excited. She's never left her mama's house before. <laughs> Check in later. What? You lucky because your mama loves you. She is indeed right. I do love her. So I'm going to Paris, France. And is it London, England or London, UK? The lady said England. London, UK. England. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to be winding the dining with Princess Kate. <laughs> she will be when I get there. This is the plane. I have two windows for an eight-hour flight. Good going, Mama, for getting us a direct flight. Because <laughs> it probably would have been 16 hours had it not been a direct flight. I'm so excited! 
it. You sure you don't want that bag? I can't find it. Bye. No, mom. So we finally made it to Paris. Say hi, mom. Hi. It says the Bienvenue on France. Welcome to France. We're so excited. We're getting ready to head to our hotel. We have our personal car waiting for us. How exciting! I'm glad that we packed just the one suitcase. Easy to maneuver through the airport. And look at my mother. She's checking things out. Just finding all cool, interesting things here. Ready for this Parisian adventure? A European adventure? We're getting ready to go out to our car. So we finally, um, we've taken a small nap, but then we're gonna eat and maybe go back to the room and take another nap slash sleep. Not sure, but we're out on the town, <laughs> the ville. I'm not sure what they call towns or cities here. Um, hi, Mom. Hi. And it's not focusing very bright and small here. We're eating outside of the cafe. Absolutely. Cafe. Yep. I'm gonna get a, a burger maison, a cheddar burger, frites et salit. It's just a fancy way of saying a burger with cheddar cheese <laughs> and french fries. And they're recording a movie across the street. You can't really see. But it's very, very bright and it's washing everything out. But it is beautiful. A different kind of beautiful. Something that you have to get used to. This is our nice waitress. <laughs> our Parisian waitress. Oh, look, guy. Look at that. A real Coke bottle. <laughs> and a Coke glass. Okay. Oh, wow. So you thought my coke was fancy. Look at our fancy water. <laughs> in water cool. glasses. Mm -hmm. And they drink their cokes with lemons here in the Coca-Cola glass. <laughs> and look at all this other stuff they gave us. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper and Dijon mustard probably. Yep. Oh wow, this is just a completely different culture here. I'm in culture right. shock. <laughs> Mom's drinking a dry rosé wine. What were you thinking? You think you were at home? We're not at home anymore, Toto. And, uh, we're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. Yeah, we're not. So we have to. We'll know next time. Get used to this Parisian culture. Bye. So we just finished eating our American burger in Paris and now we're walking our American burgers out in Paris and look, we found this little quaint, I guess it's a pastry dessert diner bar. Um, look at all those macarons, probably can't see them, and ice cream and just deliciousness. And we can't wait to come back and try this because they eat a dessert and snack at every meal here in Paris. But right now, just exploring the city. And mom's complaining about a crying baby all the way over here in Paris. Crying baby. Oh, and these people do not know how to drive here. <laughs> they have no value on their Parisian life or anything. It looks like everything is just small, small, small cars, small, small street, big building. But there's their subway, the metro. There. Looks like there were some street vendors here earlier. But 
This is Paris. Look at the beautiful cafes on the end of each street. So right here, mom. I just, it's actually nice after you get over your culture shock. And hotels and hotels and hotels. All right, see you at the next stop. So because of our terrible travel from the airport to the hotel, I forgot to vlog our room. This is it. Not very much to vlog in the first place. These are two supposed to be queen beds, but there is two twin beds that makes a queen. Bathroom. Window to the bathroom, but we closed the blinds. Mama's very private. And this is our room. Or, sh or shall I say our home for the next six days. That's Paris, France. As you can see, everything is small, close together. Sort of like New York. This is it. Our beds are made. Because we're so tired. No sleep. Since. I'm not even sure since when. I don't know what today is or what yesterday was or what tomorrow is. All I know is there's a six hour time difference between the U.S. and here. We're six hours ahead, six hours behind, however you want to say it. And this is it. We made it onto the train. It looks just like New York. I keep saying that. So we made it to somewhere. Look at this beautiful architecture. It's just gorgeous. Nice and old and beautiful. We're somewhere near the Louvre Museum. But now we're gonna head to the Eiffel Tower. So this right here is the Musée de Louvre, the Louvre Museum. Oh my God, I can't believe it. We got put off right here at the Louvre. <laughs> Oh my god. This is so much history. If you're not a history aficionado, Paris is not for you. Oh my Lanta. It is gorgeous. I'm right. I stopped for a second, Mom. This is it. We're here. Oh I just had an eye orgasm. This is so beautiful. And peaceful and quiet. This is it, you guys. This is where they filmed the Da Vinci Code. We're back at the Louvre. <laughs> Again. This used to be a fortress, which said to guard the city.
The river sand is to the right. Climb the 380 steps. Um, it's where Quasimodo stayed in the Notre Dame. Are you hearing something different? Cause I ain't hear none of it. I'm listening to the Children's Channel. <laughs> Maybe we should turn to the Children's Channel now. What'd she say? You ready to see the Eiffel Tower up close and personal? To touch it? <laughs> oh, oh my God, there it is. Oh. <laughs> That's the Eiffel Tower. We're getting ready to go to the second floor. Okay, no problem. We're walking towards the Eiffel Tower. We just finished our bus cruise. Later we're going to come back here and go on our river cruise and hopefully eat some dinner because I'm hungry. Dinay. But look at it in all its amazing glory. Look how close we are. So we're getting ready to get in on the lift. Want me to put it up? The bottom part. The Eiffel Tower. We made it to the top, well, the middle part of the structure. We have the option to go to the top, but I'm actually kind of scared. So, I'm gonna say mom wussed out instead of me. <laughs> but this is Paris. Look how beautiful this is. Mom, are you behind me? Yes, I'm behind you. We met fellow Americans from Columbus, Georgia. Feels like a little slice of home. And mommy's taking their picture. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> tons and tons of people from different countries Ooh, speak it's okay speak a lot of different languages I'm clumsy and this is too tragic of a fall to be falling over this rail
so we just got something to eat. Um, a panini. Mm -hmm. How French is that? And we're eating here on the top of the Eiffel Tower. We have to stand at a table. Or we can sit here on the bench if mom wants. So we're here at the top of the Eiffel Tower. So we're about to take our cruise on the River Sin. You ready, Mom? Ready! There's another one. Uh, hopefully I want to get some beautiful, beautiful, great footage. And it's rocking like I'm on a cruise boat. Just a lot of shrubbery. Some beautiful buildings. We still haven't gotten to the lock bridge yet. The fourth bridge down. But it's beautiful nonetheless. What do you say, Mom? Yes. I'm ready for Disney World. I'm ready for our burlesque show. No. Cabaret show, which is probably the same as burlesque. And I'm ready. Did I say Disneyland already? What else I'm ready for? I'm ready to go to London. I should go to London. No. 
don't even like two patients to a room these days, let alone two patients to a bed. So we found our way back to the hospital where two patients shared one bed. And this here is a castle that one of the kings did stay in here with the beautiful gold thingy at the top. So I'm not sure which king, but these three towers here became prisons. And one of the towers, Marie Antoinette, was commissioned to stay until she was sent to the guillotine to be deheaded or beheaded or her head cut off. <laughs> and I'm not sure if it's still a prison or what it is now. It looks like office space. I don't know how it feel working here. This is a castle that one of the kings stayed in, turned into a prison where Marie Antoinette was imprisoned before her head was taken off at the guillotine. So we made it back to the Louvre after being all over Paris, it feels like. And there is the upside, upside down triangle from the Da Vinci Code. You know, of a movie fashionado. I can name just about every movie that I've seen Paris in. <laughs> And my mama told me I need to start living through movies and actually live my life. But hey, it's not my fault people don't watch movies. So, those were the, if, I don't know who's seen the Da Vinci Code, but I remember this from the Da Vinci Code very clearly. And we got our charms. There's mom. Here's my charm, charm twinsy. I just want to make sure I can see it again. Okay. That's me and Mommy's Charms. And here is that famous pyramid. Oh my God. Okay. So I'm going to cut here because we're going to take some flash photography. The and it's the Apple Store. Just like, oh no, that's the Apple Store in Times Square. It's almost was similar to that, but it's Apple and it's just as busy as the one in the US. So somehow we ended up in a mall in the Louvre. All right, see you when we get, actually get inside. I know, another, in other news, more American cuisine. There's a Starbucks coffee. And I think I said they had a Chipotle and I really wanted Chipotle, but mommy will let me get Chipotle. And look, they have Paris and France coffee cups. I have to get this for Julia. Why?
absolutely no air conditioning in any place that we've been in Paris today. And it, this week is about 100 degrees outside. And looking for the Mona Lisa. And we have more stairs to find her. Mama came all the way to France to be Marilyn Monroe <laughs> inside the Louvre. <laughs> this is the only area that we've seen since we've been out today. <laughs> but side note, look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> we transcended it. We made it to the lock bridge officially, officially. Mom, just I'm stepping up here, okay? I got this. Here it is. Excuse me. Are you okay? Isn't this amazing? All the beautiful locks. They make up the whole bridge. Look how uns look. Locks on top of locks on top of locks on top of locks. Some personally engraved. Oh. I want to look at the next one. Look, Ma. Yeah. These they had theirs engraved together forever. Aww. I didn't even think about that. Did you? Yeah, this is for the padlock. They had to throw the key away on the padlock. What do you mean? You don't throw a key away in the padlock? No, there's no key on the padlock. Well, the thing is, you can't open it, right? Oh, wait, padlock is the one with the numbers? Yes. Okay, never mind. That defeats the purpose. Who skips me? Oh, so people signed it. So this is the part of the bridge that fell off that was really, really super duper unstable. And people just started signing it. But you get the point. It's just, I can't, I don't want to waste all my battery. But it's locked on top of locks. Literally, Here. on top of locks. Here. And 